Human beings are endowed with this miracle of self-reference. We call it consciousness, this capacity to be self-aware, to reflect upon ourselves. Now, consciousness remains a mystery. The question, of course, is can consciousness be reduced to a pattern of information, right? I mean, our cells turn over all the time. Apparently, something like every seven years, we are an entirely new organism, yet something persists. The pattern persists. And if consciousness can be reduced to just being a pattern of information, then it raises the question of whether or not we can substitute our biological substrate for an alternative housing for our consciousness. So the idea of mind uploading would be a form of technologically mediated immortality, right? I mean, at the end of the day, Eric Davis says we are algorithmic cascades of data. We are information, our genes, our little software programs. We are made of language. We are alphabetic beings all the way down. And the fact that real thinkers, right, people like Ray Kurzweil and other renowned futurists are entertaining the notions of mind uploading as something that is feasible, then perhaps immortality is within our grasp. Perhaps in the words of Robert Edinger in The Merchants of Immortality, together we shall drink the wine of centuries unborn, right? We're talking on the back of our own ingenuity, our technology, our capacity to reduce ourselves to data that we will transcend the forces of entropy. Buckminster Fuller famously said life is anti-entropic. It is our role to go against entropy, to move towards greater complexity and organization. And I believe transcending the limits of mortality, transcending a biological housing is part of our destiny. It is our birthright. And I say we make it happen.